Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the pattern feature in Onshape and as you can see on the screen we've got a range of different challenges to work through starting with the easiest which is in the green section and working up to the purple section which is the hardest of the challenges. At the bottom we've got a number of different tabs, so this tab here which is active gives us an overview of the different activities or challenges and if you click on the YouTube icons or symbols you are then linked to the online tutorials via YouTube. You've also got an extra tab down here which gives you a quick overview to extra resources and tutorials and then we've got the tutorial files along the bottom. So the first challenge we're going to look at is this green challenge at the top. So we're going to look at how to create a rectangular pattern and create a linear pattern, but also create a pattern that is at an angle, as you can see on there. So if we go to the reference model here and we just zoom in, you can see what we've got here is a rectangular pattern. OK, and it's linear. So it goes OK straight on there in a horizontal and it also goes straight down in a sort of a vertical pattern. So what we've initially got is uh, we've got a rectangle at the bottom that's been extruded and then on the top there's been a sketch that's been applied on a top surface and an extrude okay and what we've got there is you can see a simple cube. And rather than you know wasting lots of time drawing out and dimensioning lots of so squares along here and then clicking extrude and clicking every one of those and extruding that okay what we're going to do is use a rectangular pattern okay to repeat that sort of cube all right along as you can see there so we have a look in here what we've applied okay is we've copied and there's actually there's different options here which we'll look at first so you can copy a part so that will be the entire part. You can copy a feature and you can select a particular feature, okay, in your list over here. And a face, okay, you could do one face or a number of faces if you only want to copy, say, certain faces of a feature as well. So that's the first options in there. And if we just click off that. So what we've done here is we've selected that cube, okay, we've told it what direction to go in and we've done a certain spacing and number of instances there. And then we've chosen a second linear direction and done the same, okay? So we've got 10 millimeter spacing is the key one that we need to remember. Uh, what else you've got here is centered. So centered, if we click that option, okay, you can see it does sort of a symmetric pattern. And the reason all these are in red, okay, is that they are not, okay, going to sort of merge into anything. So if I untick that, okay, you will see all right, there's no errors on there and it is repeating that pattern. If I change the instances here, you can see extra instances are added and I can take those away by changing the value again. And again, if I want to go down to say five, I can change that there, okay? So we've done 10 along and we've done five down. So how do we do that? So if we go into the tutorial part studio I've saved you a little bit of time. You've got this base and you've got this feature here. This is one, okay, entire part, so it's not separate parts. So what we're going to do is the option is up here. Okay, we've got linear, and again, later on, we'll look at circular and curve. So if we click on linear, okay, the options come up here. And what we're going to do is we're not going to choose part. Okay, if I show you what happens if we choose part, okay, here and I choose a direction okay and I type in say 100 and flip that so if I go say 150 sorry and I type in say 4 and zoom out you can see what that's doing it because it's selected the entire part okay it's repeating that part that might be something that you would want to do but in this instance we don't want to do that we want to pattern Okay, the feature, and if we zoom in, okay, and we look at on here and hover over these features, okay, we can say extrude two. So we're going to select extrude two. That appears. Now your first direction, 
you can use a sketch or you can use an edge so I'm going to use that edge there and I'm going to type in my okay, distances and as you can see at the moment there's four and if I type in ten you can see it repeats that okay ten along that including the first instance as well so it's an additional nine okay if we click the arrow you see that will flip that behind and if we click it again it will go back to where we want it to be if you click centered what that's doing okay is essentially do it a symmetric or mirror so it's producing okay instances either side of that feature and that might be helpful if say that was feature was in the middle then that option would be helpful but we don't want that and we can update that and, and confirm it so what we've done there is pattern that just on there if we want to add an additional direction we need to choose second direction it will ask you what do you want to use as the direction so i'm going to use this edge again if you had a sketch you could use that and if i click that and again type in okay the distances and at the moment if i type in two it'll give you two and i flip the direction and you can see what we've done there so if i type in five it will then fill okay that top surface like so for those people that have used different CAD programs, you may be thinking, well, what I would like to do is, say, just remove that one there, or that one there, or whatever, or a number of them, because I might want a feature, add a different feature in the middle. Uh, and you would normally just click on, okay, different ones like that. I just click on do. Okay, you might click on different ones, and they will disappear. But we can't do that, okay within these options here. So even if you're clicking on instances or anything like that, you've got no option to just deselect the instances. But you can remove them and we'll look at that later. So if I confirm that, that therefore we've saved okay that. And you can see it's all merged into one. So that is a single okay part, an entire part there. If I needed to change something, you can always go back in and edit. And you can say, well, actually, I wanted to change the space in that way. And depending on, obviously, the dimensions, you, it may come with an outside. I might have to do, say, that. So there's a slight gap, basically, as you can see there. Okay, and we can update various things in there. So that's the first one done. That's quite simple. So what we're going to look at now is doing the same thing, but this time... We're going to look at actually can we pattern it at a slight angle here now and how can we determine the angle it comes out so what we're going to do now is a linear pattern and this time rather than the second direction being that straight edge there okay we're going to use a sketch so this sketch here which has just been created on the top surface to control the second direction and we're going to do it at an angle there Okay, so if you imagine it is a 45 degree angle from that sort of plane that runs through the middle. Okay, so we've created that sketch on top. We then use that sketch within, okay, the feature to define the angle. So it's the sort of second direction. So if we come to the tutorial here and we go up to linear pattern, what we want to do is go to feature and select extrude 2. The direction is that edge there and if we have a look we've got seven millimeter spacing by 13. so we've got that there so seven millimeters by 13 and we flip that direction rather than going that way we want it that way so that's quite easy that's like what we did before second direction this time rather than say that straight edge there or that edge okay we're going to use okay this part of the sketch if we have a look at the spacings, we've got 10 millimeters this time by six. So 10 millimeters, and we've got six. And what you can see if we look from above now, that second direction is now being defined by that sketch there. And we've got this repeated pattern. Now what I might want is, what I might is that coming off at an angle there. I don't want all these instances coming up to here. I don't want these ones here. And I definitely don't want the ones that are going off. So the ones that are going off will not appear once I save the feature. 
if I did want them, I can tick that. And those will be created as separate parts down here because they're not touching. So therefore, they're not merging into this main part here. If I untick that, we've still got these features remaining that we don't want. Now, in other CAD programs, we might have an extra little option here where we can sort of untick these and then just leave that there. But on on shape, we've got to do something slightly different. So I'm just going to confirm that. And we can look at this angle here. So what I don't want now is I want I don't want these okay sections here or these features here. I want to delete those. So I've got this nice pattern coming up at an angle and coming up to this row here. So if we come up to here, we've got a number of different options. If I go delete part, okay, I could delete all right, the entire thing. And that's what I don't want. If these were separate parts, that'd be quite easy. I could just delete them. What we're going to do is to go delete face. So if I now click on here and select these faces, you can see that's now deleted. If I can confirm that, that disappears. And that feature comes up in here. Now if I edit that again, and if I just go along, I can select each one of these. And you can see it's just confirmed that that will disappear. And I've got to go along and do the same with the rest. So once I've done that, using the delete face, okay, so that was up here, I've now removed those sort of instances that I don't want. And I've got this, okay, pattern that I do want. Again, I could use that same uh, feature there, okay, if I wanted, say, to remove one of these in here, or a group of them, all right, so then I could do, um, you know, add an extra design or something in the middle there okay there is another option which we'll have a look at later in one of the other tutorials where we can apply a pattern or feature um, using basically sort of placing these dots or these points on along a surface okay or face and that is another way of doing it but it's a bit of a longer process so I think that's the easiest way you can control the angle and then remove certain instances by using the delete face. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.